in the City League, records on the line too. Somebody though has to go on the field tonight. Woodward hosting Bowser. They're battling for their first win of the season. Blue Racers on the move in the first quarter. Joe Stallworth plows a polar bear, keeps on trucking into the paint. Bowser skips ahead 8-0. They get a special team safety. 10-0 second quarter. It's Simon Ease with speed and ease. Finger roll for six. Bowser takes control and keeps it with great effort in each phase of the game. Ensuing Woodward drive. Ball hits the ground. It's Joe Stallworth. Remember him right there for the recovery on defense. Blue Racers get it back, and they are going which way, Joe? That way. And in a minute, they're going back to the end zone. Ray Mulling powers ahead for another score. All Bowser tonight. 30 0 at halftime. They tack on a few more later. 46 zip. Bowser earns its first win, and the O line gets its time to shine. It felt great. I mean, we deserved it. Working hard. Every, I practice every day. Something we deserved. Uh, it, it was very hard, you know. Coach Dale, he hard on us. He real hard. And, you know, going against these tough opponents, not going to be able to win. That, that loss against Scott was tough on us. But we came back with a good, good rebound. We'll bounce back to the guys who called it, Tim Clack and Mike Robinson. The Bowser Blue Racers let their first win slip out of their hands in week number six inside the glass bowl against the Wake Indians. But tonight, a different result. They're able to pick up their first win of the season. And we noticed right away, very first offensive play, this was a team that was willing to take risks and pass the football than their traditional running style. Yeah, absolutely. They came out here feeling really confident. Coach Shipstrom told us about his game plan and what he wanted to do. He wanted to run the ball, but he also wanted to pass it. But he learned quickly. Passing the ball wasn't doing what the run game was doing. And they got the ball to several different running backs in open space, and they got touchdowns. And too. toughness from their senior quarterback, Simon Ease, wearing a shoulder brace. He's yeah. been out for a little while. Ran for two scores, including one right before the end of the first half, a 40-yard rushing score. You talk about grit, toughness, that's ease right there. Simon took a big shot late in the game, I mean, late in the first half, and he continued to play, and he got back and scored that touchdown on the outside. So this football team rallied around their quarterback because he's the toughest player on the field tonight. Well, protecting him was a tremendous and talented offensive line, yes. which gave him time and patience to execute their offense. I mean, you talk about Hines. I mean, Dawson, Oliver, you know, Caleb. I mean, these guys came out and they came to play football. They want to be physical. They want to be nasty, and that's exactly what they did. They pushed the polar bears all around without snow or ice. One guy they weren't able to push around, Shamarion Mullins. First-year player, first time ever playing football, averages two sacks. Well, he was right at that average with two tonight and really inspired the younger players. This is a team that only has five seniors moving forward next year. I mean, you remember the NBA Finals where LeBron James was, well, should have been the MVP, but they lost. This is what Shamari had. I mean, Mullins came out and played. Like, he, he came and did it. Uh, he did the lion's share of the work. Offensively, defensively, they gave him the ball, and he went and ran with it. I, I like the way this kid played. I wish he had more years, but it was a great job and a great effort by that young man. Bowser picks up win number one on the 2022 season, looking to finish the final two weeks on a positive note.